Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I'm uh, going to be doing a little experiment today or a demo of how to do this, getting a Zoom guest into an OBS recording using Ubuntu Linux. Now, I always say this at the start of my videos. I'm gonna say it one more time nevertheless. This is not necessarily the very best way to do this. This is a way to do this. And uh, there may be other ways, there may be many other ways, but this is something that I've set up and got working and therefore I wanted to do a demo. So here we go. The crazy, crazy setup you're about to witness is me. Here's what I rigged up. I took a teddy bear. I'm not joking, I actually took a teddy bear. And I positioned him in front of my laptop just to demo this. Now the purpose of the RGB light is uh, so that we can see that the video feed works. And the purpose of the, so he's, he, the teddy bear, the laptop in front of the teddy bear is, um, it's playing like, audio clips from the YouTube library that should be, you know, uh, copyright free and therefore not create problems for, for me. So that is the setup. That's the testing setup I have going on. Now, here's what I've done in terms of getting this into OBS. So here's my second OBS. Here is my OBS control panel or the one, the second one. And uh, let me actually roll it back a bit here. So the first thing you want to do, there's a couple of things you're gonna to need to change in OBS in order to get this working as you would expect. Firstly, in video settings, towards the bottom, see myself as the active speaker while speaking, you want to turn that off. And the reason is that if it's on, it's going to, you see now, because I'm speaking, it's gonna keep flicking back to you. So you wanna turn that off. I also ticked on high non-video part participants. Next, under audio, now this test speaker button is actually really, really useful for testing an OBS and I'll show you why in a second. Um, it's picking up my lav mic as the input and um, I'm routing the output through analog stereo, built in audio analog stereo. Now, whatever way you route your built in audio analog stereo is going to be significant because that's what you're gonna have to make sure is being piped into your OBS. So here's what I'd recommend doing is going into your pulse audio volume control panel. I'm just gonna try clean up for a second here. And uh, firstly, I always recommend, you know, muting the mic, whatever mics you're not using. This is me speaking here on the lav mic. And it looks like you could use a tiny, tiny bit of a nudge up in fact. Uh, here is me speaking on the lav mic. And uh, the level for the built monitor of built in audio analog stereo. So what you can do is to test this is working, use the test speaker functionality. And now you can see that level on the top bouncing up to see the built-in monitor, built-in audio. So now we know, okay, the zoom audio is working. Now we're just trying to capture this playback from our sloth toy looking into a laptop. Uh, for playback, zoom, make sure it's attached to this, make sure the levels are okay and um, this should have us kind of more or less good to go. So um, let me just go back to Zoom to, yeah, to OBS over here. So this is how I would have it set up. I have my lav mic as the source and that is so that I can hear me speaking, but I want to then capture separately the guest audio. So that's gonna be Zoom audio and just unmute that for a second. And in order to test that it is working, um, go ahead and use the zoom testing functionality. Um, so I'm just gonna go settings and go to test speaker. Now you can see the levels are a little too high even. Okay, so that's how you just test that. Now I'm not sure it's actually really picking up the audio from the stuffed animal, but um, I can even just leave that on in fact for the, for the test and then we'll see if we get the audio from the other side. But the video is, is there. Now to get the video, I'm going to just, now you could do um, window capture and just get the zoom window. I did not have such success here because I don't know, there's like a bunch of windows and uh, I haven't really learned this aspect of OBS very well yet. So what I did instead was simply capture the screen zoom screen and I just went for the one zooms on. Now what I did here was um, went into or go into full screen mode. Now we're in full screen mode 
and whoops, I need to get it actually over to this screen here. View full screen mode, okay. Now, um, and you can see I'm in studio mode, so just a little bit of cropping necessary here. Um, we're not getting much in the way of audio from the Zoom audio, but I'm just gonna play it for a second so that you can hear it. Okay, um, now, what I need to, now what I want to do here is to just do a bit of cropping. So I went for Zoom screen and I just cropped, you know, I got this minimized so that that's like out of the way a bit or even up to the top. And you can see in the full screen view, there's like some Zoom UI text that you wouldn't want to capture. So I just did my cropping and got it out. And therefore I can just move my Zoom video guest over somewhere like this. Uh, now, I can't do my webcam because it's in use, um, but you get the idea. My webcam could be here, Zoom is here. Now I've got his Zoom audio. And now, just to demonstrate how this would work, you're listening to, maybe you can hear the audio coming in from the other end of this Zoom call. I can see a tiny bit of level shifting, but nothing really that significant. So um, it, will be, it will be definitely more audible if I do the testing feature. So by going into Zoom, audio settings, and again, just use this test speaker tool. Now we can hear that the, the testing is going on. So that's basically the methodology uh, that I figured out for getting a, a guest into a Zoom call. Uh, just to kind of clarify what was going on there besides the kind of wackiness with the teddy bear. Um, the video was, um, sorry, I was recording my microphone source as one audio channel in OBS. I was piping Zoom to the built-in audio and then I added, and this is the important bit that I hope I emphasize, add an output device audio output device for built-in analog stereo. Add that to your OBS. That channel is going to be your guest audio. You're going to be on the main audio. And then just add a screen where you have your guest on. I did a bit of cropping so that the uh, stuff that's naturally in Zoom wouldn't be there. The guest could hear me through because I'm using the same microphone source. And the final thing I need to do would be to hear what the guest is saying while recording the screencast. I'd need something like a little earplug, something discreet that you wouldn't see uh, because if I did play it through speakers, you'd be getting feedback. So that's basically it. Um, I did just do a test of this with a real person who doesn't want to be on this YouTube channel, um, but not particularly hard to get going. Um, there weren't any virtual audio cables or anything complicated or coding required to set this up. Um, and if you do want to practice this at home, then uh, if you do feel like doing something wacky, get your stuffed toy, stick an RGB light up there to clarify that you're getting the video feed. This is the uncropped version, by the way, um, that you're seeing now. Um, and then what you need to do is just uh, go ahead and um, patch in the video and audio sources and you're good to go, basically. So audio from audio one microphone, audio two, whatever you patch a zoom through to, put them together in OBS, put your webcam in OBS, put the window or the screen zoom is on in OBS with the right cropping. And that way you should be able to get a uh, Zoom interview recorded or streamed using OBS, even if you're on Ubuntu. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get more videos, feel free to subscribe.